All right, so I was, this is try number two for me. Hopefully it gets to you and you actually can see this. Um, so yeah, I decided to, oh, first I want to say hi. And Cindy says hi. She's in the bathroom right now. Um, but I needed, Cindy said I need to talk about my bulletin points. So this is why it's try number two because I made bulletin points of what to say in the video. Because the first one was me just saying a bunch of ums. So, yeah. I have bulletin points. That was number two. Saying hi was number one. Um, number three is talking about my new shirt. It's very... I absolutely love this shirt. But as Cindy pointed out in the first video, I got it in the child section. It's a youth large. It's not an adult. It's not a junior. It's a youth large. So... Cindy made fun of me all day yesterday about my child shirt. Um, yeah. Oh, and on Friday, I helped set up with the school. We had this barbecue every quarter, and so I was helping set up that on Friday, and they had a bouncy house. <laughs> well, if you're under 125 and you look like a 13-year-old, size-wise, they let you in the bouncy house. Well, they let me in the bouncy house, and when I got out, like... Mandy has quite a few pictures of, like, motion pictures of me jumping out onto the slide. And, um, I told, I was walking with Mandy, and I told her, I was like, oh, Mandy, my ass is sweating. And I was like, no, no, specifically my gluteal folds are sweating. So, it's probably a lot funnier to me and Mandy, but it was quite entertaining. So, Mandy wanted to post, post all over Facebook about how my, ass, my gluteal folds were sweating at this present time. Well, that was Friday. Right now, they're fine. Um, let's see, that was number four. Uh, number five on my little list is grades. I got a few of them back, and I'm pretty stoked. No Ds so far, so I'm happy about that. I, I got remediated in adjustive technique, um, for the lab, but I didn't have to be remediated. I asked to be. What remediation is, is you just pay $75 to get one-on-one -on -one tutoring with one of the doctors. So I figured it would be better than nothing to have the one-on-one -on -one tutoring with them instead of just passing and me feeling like I don't understand how to uh, properly adjust the thoracic spine. So I have that, but I'll end up passing. Like, if I wanted to retake the test next week, I could pass it, no problem. I should have passed. I was going to pass it then, but I asked to be remediated, and they let me. Um, I just tech lecture, though. I did pretty well. I got a B. I don't know what percentage, but it doesn't really matter. It's just I got a B, so I was excited about that. Um... Gross Anatomy and Fizz, I have C's in both of them, which I was really worried about. The Gross Anatomy professor hates me, and I did. I told you earlier about that with the um, the letter that the dean made me write and stuff. So the Gross Anatomy professor really doesn't like me, so I was surprised I was going to pass that class or not with the C. Um, so I got that one. I was happy. And then Fizz, I honestly, I did so poorly last quarter that I thought I would get a D, like guaranteed. But a C works, too. Um, principles I'm worried about, I, it's the easiest class, but I only spent three hours studying for ten weeks of material, so I'm hoping I got, because I have to get a C or better in order to pass, it's a pass or fail, but if you don't get 70% or better, you fail, and you have to retake the quarter, or take the class, and that's the only one I'm really worried about, the rest they could get D's and not even care, but we'll see. I, I hope I pass that one, but if not, of all the ones to have to retake next spring, it'll be the easiest. It's only one hour a week, and I'm sure that I'll be able to work something out to take it. It's it's just going to suck, but I'm sure it'll work out even if I fail. Um, so exam-wise, I have one tomorrow for human development. I have to get through those notes tonight. I went into the neuroanatomy lab and played with, played with brains today. That was kind of cool. And then I have two on Tuesday, neuroanatomy lecture and neuroanatomy lab. Um, Corolla has been really cool about letting me uh, get into the lab and stuff. I feel special. He gave me a key to the, the brains. It's kind of cool. And let's see. Oh, tomorrow I have an exam for my classes this term in pathology. It's that, that vocab one that I was telling you about that has like 300 and some vocab that we have to know 90% or better. I'm not even going to worry about it because it doesn't matter. It's just, it's not going to 
be it with like point grade or hurt my grades at all if I don't pass tomorrow I'm just going to retake it on Friday so we can retake the same exact test every single every single day we want until the end of finals it's just um we have to pass it with 90% or better before finals and I figured since I'm not going to have time with the other exams to study it now I'll just um wait and take it on Friday instead like I have to take it tomorrow anyways but I'm going to fail so I'll retake it Friday so that was me rambling about that one. Um, the other thing is, oh, my Halloween costume. I hope you got my pictures yesterday. I have a few better ones that um, Michelle and Cindy took with my actual camera that I'm going to try to send you today. And they look really cool. Um, I was proud of it. I got new boots that end up working like to wear regular, but they're also really cool pirate boots. They have cool folds and little ties in the back. So I thought it looked good in my little pirate outfit, so you'll have to tell me whether you think so or not. Um, and then I'm going to go to a corn maze. I was going to go this weekend, but my roommates didn't pan out very well. So regardless, Cindy, Jeff, and I, and I think uh, Nate are going to go on fri next Friday after the end of the week for me because I pretty much live and breathe school. I don't have a life. Cindy has a hard enough time getting a hold of me, as is. And, um, yeah, I'm exhausted. Been drinking coffee quite a bit today, which is the first... Well, I guess yesterday I had coffee, too, but it's really the first time I've drank coffee all week. I've been pretty good about trying to stay off of it during school, so it's been good. Um, well, I'm thinking about you all the time, like, I'm pretty sure Cindy wishes I would shut up by now. <laughs> but she has no room to talk. She talks about Jeff all the time. When she oh. says all the time, she means all the time. <laughs> um, and, yeah. Oh, I have pictures of Conan in his outfit, too. You'll like that. You'll, well, you're going to think that I'm stupid for dressing him up as a pumpkin, but it's cute. And he's my baby, so he gets to do whatever the hell I want him to do. Anyways, I probably shouldn't make this too long because I know you're going to um, end up getting bored with it or you, you may not even be able to see it or not. So I will let you go. If you get this video, let me know if you like it or not and if you can watch it and they can send you more. So anyways, I'll talk to you later. miss you and I hope you're having a good time. Please be safe and don't fuck with a rhino.